Oh, goodness me! It seems like you are going on a fasting spree, little kitty. Kitty fasting. Well, there is no harm in fasting every now and then, but not eating for a longer period can be dangerous. Well, let me explain. Hey, friends! So in today's episode, let us feed on this tasteless topic and answer a hard to swallow question. What if you stopped eating? Zoom in! Many of you say no to food due to anger, dissatisfaction or distractions. Although it's okay to skip a meal once in a while, but for these stubborn hearts who think they can skip meals until their demands have been fulfilled, I have bad news for you all. Yes, that's because the food we eat is full of nutrients like vitamins, proteins, carbs, etc. that are needed for your growth, development, performing daily activities and most importantly, survival. So it's obvious that stopping to eat food will keep you deprived of all the goodness and richness it has to offer to your health. But still, let us dive deeper into this topic and see how long your body can continue to function without the nourishing yummy food. Well, in case you start fasting now, your body will continue to function normally for the next six hours. Because this is a period your body is busy breaking down the glycogen into glucose, the thing your body uses as energy fuel. Around 25% of this glucose is used to power your brain alone and the rest goes to powering muscle tissue and red blood cells. But once you cross the six hour limit, the body stops producing the energy-giving glucose and hunger pangs kick in and the more brain loses the energy and struggle to make rational decisions, the more you feel irritated and angry and might end up throwing things around the house. But fortunately, this doesn't last long because soon your body realizes that it can no longer break glycogen into glucose. So it starts to look for other sources of energy through a process called ketosis, a metabolic state in which your body breaks down excess fat and converts it into energy. Though these converted fatty acids can fulfill your body's requirements, your brain still needs some glucose to work fully. Because of this, your cognitive functions get impaired and you might find it hard to read, memorize and do any mental activity. And after 72 hours, things only start to get downhill as your brain starts craving for more energy supply. And to get that, it will begin to break down the body's own protein so that it can use its amino acids to form glucose. This can satisfy your brain's hunger for energy. But it comes with the cost of harming your body as it is eating its own muscle tissues to survive. And after these three days, the immune system will stop working due to a lack of vital vitamins and minerals. And if no food is consumed at this point in time, the person will catch many diseases which can be fatal. And even if someone manages to survive, the body will continue to eat its own fats, tissues and muscles until nothing is left, increasing the chances of a heart attack. But it will depend on the level of fats and water in your body. The more stored fat and fluid you have, the longer you can survive without food. But the wise thing to do is to make sure that you have your food on time and save yourself from unnecessary complications that can arise due to a lack of energy in your body. 
and remember my friends consider yourself very lucky if you get food because millions of kids worldwide go to bed hungry every night think about it trivia time did you know an average person can survive up to 40 days without food whereas without water a person can survive for only about 3 days and to know more about it please check our video why do we drink water the link is in the description below hope you learned something vital today until next time it's me dr binox zooming out never mind